Hey guys, what's up? This is Amian Basis, and I just want to talk about this one show that um, that I really enjoy. It's called Man Tracker. I love Man Tracker. You know, it's pretty amazing. You know, you see Terry and uh, Terry Grant is the Man Tracker's name, but well, we'll just call him Terry. And then he has his um. Sidekicks who is mostly filled in you, but you know, yeah, he's a pretty cool guy. Um, I've actually seen superstars and all that shit, you know, go on there. You know, it's probably to see that people actually make it or one person makes it. You know, I'd have to say um, it's it's pretty interesting to see that because um, one thing I I see is. Um, is when they have like a season five or season season three or season four season five I see something called the rev and uh, and something else I'm like oh so the rev from Event Sevenfold is gonna be on there and I'm like oh no it's just some biker dude from California okay <laughs> you know it was a big disappointment there but you know <laughs> anyways um is it uh, it's pretty interesting. To, uh, no, this is not an Easter egg. It's a uh, chapstick. I'm just, I just get bored. I have something to play with. <laughs> Sorry. Um, there's something to hold. Whatever. I'm just really agitated right now. Uh, I'll explain about it later, man. On Man Tracker. Um, the the greatest things I like about Man Tracker is the chase. Cause seeing all these people just go through it all. It's just pretty amazing to see. Cause. Um, a couple of my favorite episodes were those two dudes who were like in the police force. I'll tell you, Bay Tracker had so much fun trying to find them. Uh, these guys were just sitting there, just running far away. Um, them just sitting there, just um, going down a field, you know, just, wow. Even Man Tracker didn't even know where they were, you know. They, they just sitting there, left all their backpacks and jump back there, you know, them just, uh, you know strutting down the field, well not strutting, but um, running down the field, you know, kind of jogging it, and then they made it as a team, and that was a pretty good episode. Now the one, now the second one was the Aussie and the chick, the Australian dude and the chick who, um, who does karate. Well, I thought they were both going to make it, but it sucks that the chick got, uh, you know, caught, but the Aussie dude was like, I'll let you run wild them off with my whip. I really want to see that, but it did happen. He actually made it. The dude actually went through a lot of hell. And, you know, took it off his shoes and everything, you know. Pretty smart move, but, you know, just to say blisters and jump. I, I, I gotta give my hats off to that guy. He actually, you know, went hard and everything, you know, but he, that guy, I'll give my hat off to. I'll, I'd give him a million bucks if he could do that again. It was amazing. Now, another one of my favorites is when he comes to the U.S. All those episodes from the U.S. are amazing. Especially the one in Hawaii, Colorado, and all that. But seeing um, that Dusty and Rusty guy, I think. It sucks that, I think it was either Dusty or Rusty who got caught, but the one other guy made it, so that was amazing, though, you know. But it's kind of sad, though, because, you know, he wanted to make it, you know, prove it his, bro his dad brother, you know, that he could do it, whatever, whatever kind of touched me a little bit, you know, but the other guy gave him his milk, you know, got happy, you know, just, you know, fell back in the water and got happy, you know, they both cheered even though he got caught, you know, even though one made it, <laughs> that's, that's some real team spirit right there, and Man Tracker was just, you know, happy and giggling, you know, just to see them happy and everything, you know, <laughs> uh, it's pretty funny to see, um, you know, yeah. Um, there's some touching moments in Man Tracker, you know, like where they make it, you know, Man Tracker's like, you know, I've, I've actually seen these guys, you know, they've worked hard, they bust their asses, you know, but they, they, some of these people do deserve the win, some don't, you know, it's great. And then seeing another thing was a couple who broke up at the end of the video, well, no, it was actually captioned, but, um, a girl got caught, but the guy was just sitting there on a cliff and Man Tracker couldn't get him because he was too high up. 
So what he did was he started sliding down, which is a pretty smart move. So he just slid all the way down, and he made it. Pretty amazing. Um, and Tracker has some good cuts, some bad. Which now, the average is six, eight seasons, I think. Six seasons. And Tracker retired. And now, we're finding somebody new, and I'm really intrigued to see who it is. Now, the reason why I'm pissed is because they don't show Man Tracker on Science Channel anymore on Tuesdays and I don't get to see the new episodes. So that's what pisses me off even more. I'm more pissed off as they say it's fake. Okay, so sitting there running through the forest, them getting hurt and everything's fake. Oh yeah, they just thought of this show, you know. It's kind of like, uh... Oh, um... Hmm. Okay, so we'll say, uh... Man versus food is fake. How is he eating all that food? Oh, you know, he just throws it in the trash. You know, I'm, I'm so full. Yeah, uh, you're saying, so if you say man tracker is fake, then man versus food is fake. And then you say, um, man versus food is fake, then you might as well say, um, oh, uh, people playing their instruments are fake, like Eddie Van Halen playing a solo. You say that's fake. That's what you think, because, you know, we're just a bunch of idiocracy bullshit, but, you know, yeah. Anyways, yeah, so, it's pretty much it from my opinion, but, you know, Men Tracker, it's a good show, check it out. Well, alright guys, this is me and Basis, and I'm signing out. Peace, guys, have a good night.